Okay, I'm going to be reviewing EA's Army of Two, the 40th day. I don't have enough fingers. Um, I just want to make it clear that I'm not going to show a lot of footage of the game in its entirety because I don't want to ruin a lot of the game for other people. Um, there is a lot that goes on. I mean, you're in Shanghai and you go to the zoo, the mall. I mean, there's a lot. But I'm just going to show you mainly what you can see in the demo. Maybe a few extra shots, but not a lot. Um, one of the things I found slightly amusing in this game, as you'll see here, is the fact that you can play rock, paper, scissor with your partner. Sadly, though, Rios is a cheat, and he beats me every time. Just like real life. I can't beat any... Look, see, again. Such a sham. My other disappointment with this game is don't put mopeds in the game if I can't drive them. Look at that. The thing's even on. Like, hey, do you want to drive this moped? Too bad. You can't. Anyways, it's very much like the first game. You have the masks. Uh, it reminds me so much of Iron Man in the sense of invincibility with the suits. Um, but really... Bureau Clock. Really, it's a great game. I really enjoy this game. Uh, I would like to say the first one's probably better, but eh, I don't want to go there right now. Anyways, you have GPS, just like the first game. Uh, in this game, it's not black and white, so it is a little easier to see. It always tells you where your objective is. Makes it very easy. Here you can tag uh, enemies, so you can easily tell your partner what to do which is good in hostage negotiation situations or you could screw those up and get the hostages killed here we're just tying them up and working together which can be a lot of fun honestly in bigger situations this is the first time you ever do it though. here I'm going to kind of talk about aggro you can get your partner to go into aggro here I've got him to go and if you look up at the top right you can see his orange meter just filling up because everyone's paying attention to him which makes me practically invincible no one knows where I am and it makes it a lot easier to kill enemies um, it's really fun uh, I really enjoy it especially on ground his is all the way up so people hardly notice me and oh melee attacks are so fun just look at that this guy hey Mm, right in the knee and your head really should be paying attention another thing is you have choices in the game here's an example where you have the choice to kill somebody or let them live um, first off that was a headshot and I think he turned into a zombie there because he comes right back at him look at that I guess crazy it's kind of ironic that the first person you kill is a black person not good What's fun though is it goes into like a comic book style and tells a story of what happens to every person that you make a choice on. So that's definitely kind of fun and gives you different options for the next playthrough. Weapon customization is huge in this game and very fun. As you can see here, I've got a blade on the end of my gun. Um, you know, changing clips, the way you hold your gun. There's so much that you can work on to make the gun so much better. Putting scopes on it, bayonetta, look at that. Um, yeah, silencer. And you can also change the colors of your gun, which also adds aggro, so people pay more attention to you. This right here, RPG rainbow color. That's what I'm talking about. Shooting rainbows at the enemies. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of masks that you're able to choose from this time around, which definitely adds to the replay value and just the playthrough value, honestly. Um, even online, it kind of helps you. One of the other things you can do is you can go on to armyof2.com and you can create your own custom mask, as you see here. Um, I don't have any right at the moment, but that's kind of fun, too. Uh, also, like Gears of War, you can grab enemies and uh, use them as a shield, which to me is a lot of fun. That really adds to the excitement. I think right there I was trying to remember how to execute someone. This is me 
trying to slap a mannequin. I don't. And then this is me being angry at a mannequin that has a head. And now it doesn't. I, I don't know why I'm showing you that. But, yeah. One complaint I would have is the load screens. It is load screen after load screen after load screen. It is changing here. These are just different load screens throughout the game. And it's always the same load screen, so it's no fun. <laughs> and sometimes, even during gameplay, the game will just stop and it loads. And it's so freaking annoying. Like, that, that definitely takes away from the gameplay, if you ask me. There's even times where you'll start a level and the textures aren't even loaded yet and you're just looking at blank canvases and it doesn't last that long but it does take away from the game and I just ugh, really I felt like that could have been something that worked on been worked on more but overall oh, grenade to the face overall I really felt this was a good game replay values definitely there um, the story's alright you're kinda curious what's going on but it's not much more than a bunch of some guy feeding a bunch of propaganda to Shanghai people and you're just wanting to kill him. Um, but uh, yeah, so gameplay's good, replay value's good. The graphics are, I mean, you can see here, it's not bad. Nice little headshot there. Mm. Um, overall, presentation's good. Um, check it out. I, an airplane to the face. Mm. That's much worse than a grenade to the face. Anyways, definitely. I mean, check it out. If it out of a buy, an eBay, a rent, steal from your friend, or ignore, I'd eBay it. That's what I did. Um, I, I did buy the first one, which I enjoyed a lot, and if you people are interested, maybe I'll do a movie review of that one also. Um, but, yeah, this is just my first video review, and tell me down below if you agree with it, if you'd like to see other video game reviews, and what you would like to see, maybe. I mean... I have plenty of games. It is what I'm going to college for, so it's definitely an interest of mine. And hope you enjoyed. Peace out, peoples!